Uh, my name is Dale Coyle. I'm the Drydock APS for the John C. Stennis Availability. The P stands for Dry Docked Planned Incremental Availability. What it means for the ship is it's, uh, it's on a 12-year cycle right now for dry dock availabilities. This is the chance for the ship to get everything underneath the water line repaired, modified and upgraded. Uh, that includes shafting, rudders, sea chests, tanks, uh, the whole preservation and repairs, thotic protection, um, oftentimes anchors, although that will not happen on this availability. The overall goal is to uh, get the ship ready to go do what it's built to do. Um, and basically refurbish everything underneath the waterline and make sure that that can last until next docking period, which at this time is scheduled for 12 years. Um, so the first month, you're going to see a lot of things getting set up as far as facilities go. Um, there will be a whole city that's going to be installed in the dry dock. You're going to see the rest of the services on the hangar bay and flight deck get up and running completely. Uh, and then, you know, also at the same time, you'll start seeing a lot of the jobs begin. Well, what you'll see is at the peak workload, you'll see about 1,500 shipyard workers. You will see over a thousand contractors from uh, probably at least 30 different companies. And then of course the 2,800 members of the crew, so about 5,000 people total. The things the Navy normally works on, a lot of it tends to be PMS items, um, things that are within the capability of the ship to perform. Um, they'll rehab spaces, they'll, they'll paint things out, um, they'll do deck and tile, things of that nature. The work that is um, out of the scope of what you normally do when, when you're operational is what the shipyard handles. Um, so right now, Ship's Force has about 90,000 man days of work on this project. Uh, shipyard has over 400,000 man days of work on this project. Um, contractors between the multitude of them have close to 100,000 man days on the project. And then there's a few other dots here and there of extra work. For a total of 700,000 man days, uh, we'll complete that in a 16 month availability. The goal ultimately at the end is to, to meet each milestone and key event on time and therefore return the ship back to the Navy on time.